NASA's new planet hunting mission is the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. It's got four cameras to take a near all-sky survey in search of planets around the nearest, brightest stars. How do you actually find planets? TESS records the small dips in brightness of stars as planets transit or cross in front of them. Every two weeks, TESS sends the data to Earth about 10 billion pixels at a time. When it first arrives, it's pretty muddy. At NASA's Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley, a supercomputer runs a bunch of code to clean up the data. The code is developed by the Science Processing Operations Center, or SPOC, and you can think of its job as a star wash. The raw data goes through a five-step cleanup. First, the star data is spritzed to convert pixels into measurements of brightness. Next, the brightness measurements are lined up into a time series we call a light curve. Then, the grime in the data from the movement of the spacecraft is rubbed away, leaving behind the pure signals of the star. With all this buffing, we can see a change in the star's brightness, but it could be caused by any number of things, a crossing planet, the eclipse of a double star system, or some other cosmic activity. So the last step in our star wash is to give each light curve some ratings. As the star data exits the pipeline, scientists examine it closely to decide what it might be. Perhaps a planet. And then they send it on its way for follow-up observations that will confirm whether we have found a planet. Scientists hope to find heaps of new planets this way and other interesting objects in space.